Hey guys, this is for the sign of Gemini for December of 2022. Got confused for a second. All right, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are coming back, thank you for coming back. Uh, in this video, you are going to get the message from Spirit as we pull out the High Priestess and also the energy healing to go along with it. We're doing some breath work this month. So, um, I am an intuitive reader, so I do read the cards intuitively, so you will get the message that Spirit wants you to hear, and again, like I said, as well as the energy. Now, energy work is because the energy, our energy, we're all made of energy, and it holds our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So if you are struggling emotionally, have anxiety, depression, PTSD, um, any kind of negative thoughts, stress, all of that, uh, it's our energy that we want to work with, okay? We want to work with our mind and our energy to feel better. So we're going to do some energy work today. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video. If you are excited to hear what Spirit has to say for you this month, it looks pretty good. Let's get started. So we've got the Three of Wands here. So this is looking towards the future. So I do, I'm feeling like 2022 is going to be a good year for you. Um, I feel as though it's going to be a good year of balance and structure is the word that I'm coming up with. So you might start really setting firm boundaries with people. You might be creating plans for the future here. Maybe you're doing that, um, you know, for this year coming up, but like starting already is what I'm trying to say, but looking towards the future. And we're asking you here not to look towards the past because the past here, the beginning of the month is the three of swords. And this is heartbreak. So you might've had some heartbreak in the past, uh, toxic relationships, things that didn't go right. Uh, it doesn't always have to just be um, relationships. It could be careers that didn't work out, but something has definitely broken your heart in the past. I'm also getting for some of you children. Please remember these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and you can check out your moon and rising signs as well here. But definitely something, but with the next two cards, you've got the High Priestess and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like this is life after love is what I'm hearing. So whatever this love, this heartbreak was, doesn't have to be romantic, but whatever it was for you, it's starting now to move forward. You're starting to look forward. Like we're asking you to leave whatever this is in 2021. The new moon is this week. This is the beginning of the month here. So with this new moon, we ask you to let go. Now, usually the full moon is about letting go, but the new moon is about new beginnings. And this is what this is because the high priestess is about your connection to the divine connection to God source, whatever you want to call it. And also connection to a higher source of yourself. So we all come from a universal energy. And I believe that we all have a part of our energy that's still in the universal energy and also in ourselves. I have a video on that called the difference between spirit and soul. You could check that out on YouTube, but um, this is about, I'll, I'll try to link it at the end, but with this, it's about connection. And with the nine of cups, it's your wish. So whatever you're wishing for, intuition is what is gonna bring you there, okay? You, when you connect to that intuition, let go of the past, let go of the past. And when I teach my psychic ability course, it's about when you can't connect, it's because there's too much chatter in your brain, in your mind. So, and that chatter is coming from past situations that have left you feeling, you know, all different types of way. And that's where we talk about our energy and our mind and getting them on the same place. Um, our energy gets stuck around events like this. So whatever, what broke your heart, there's energy stuck there. So we're going to try to release that today. Okay. In just a couple minutes. So obviously might do a little bit good, but you probably will need more, but we've got the ace of wands, seven of pentacles and the four of swords here in the big, in the middle of the month. So when you do that, when you connect, I do feel as though there's this brand new beginning and it's a, it's a, it's a hearty beginning. Like it's needy. It is, it is like tangible. I can't think, <laughs> I'm trying to get across what I'm feeling here, but it is something that you can sink your teeth into. Okay, so it's not like fly by the night. It's not something that's gonna come in and go out. Like, so this could be, for example, this could be a relationship that leads to marriage. Okay, because this is a long lasting harvest you are harvesting, you are working towards it, you are nurturing it, 
and that's what this new beginning is bringing and i feel as though it's a new beginning of peace as well with this four of swords like you're going to be able i love this in the love situation so if you if you guys are letting go of this heartbreak you're calling in your soulmate and i feel as though that's what this is this is oh my god it's beautiful for you ace of wands you're calling in this love that's actually going to make you feel um, that you are safe, that you're safe, that you don't have to worry. It's not narcissistic. It's not toxic. It is a good person that wants the best for you and you want the best for them and that this is that relationship. I love this for you. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So that could be coming in for you. And again, if it's not love, it could be work, it could be career, career could be opening up, that's going to be a long term, something that you've always wanted. So just keep looking towards the future. The past is not where it's at. It's in the future. So you've got to look forward, not backwards, because the, ba the past will hold you back. So let go. And we've got the three of pentacles, the three of cups, and the queen of wands. So towards the end of the month here, you start to work towards this. You start to have more fun with your friends. Um, I'm not just getting three. I'm getting like a party. There might be a party towards the end of the year. Oh, well, there is. A, <laughs> it is December, so it could be New Year's Eve party. But I feel as though you're showing up to whatever this event is in a completely different energy. Completely. With this queen of wands. You're showing up powerfully. You're showing up confidently. You're showing up like your shit don't stink basically, and in, in a very loving, subtle kind of way with this queen, queen of Wands here. So go to the party. <laughs> Don't hold yourself back. Don't work too much with this Three of Pentacles. Don't work too much. Go to the party, especially with this full moon there. Go to the party. There might be something there waiting for you, okay? Let's see what other messages we have. What other messages for the sign of Gemini? High Priestess again. Woo! Your higher self is calling you. Your intuition is calling you. It is ready. And then you've got the Sun card, which says awards, um, camaraderie, and affection. The Sun card to me is always about healing. This is about you letting go. And in that itself, it's healing. And you've got the Seven of Cups, Decadence, and Indulgence. So just be careful. New Year's Eve, holidays. Don't overdo yourself, right? Stay in that powerful goddess energy um is what i'm feeling there so don't don't party too much okay don't party too much because i feel as though if you do you're going back to this heartbreak you're gonna sulk in it okay and then look at that ten of cups blessed love life there's something coming for you guys so be aware of it be aware of it get excited for it it is coming some kind of partnership something long term long term all right what? they're also telling me here though like you know this is a general reading so just remember that if you want this you're gonna have to go out and get it too you're gonna have to make moves you can't just sit sit at home okay use your intuition if you feel like you need to go out to the store go out to the store if you feel like you need to walk down a certain aisle walk down that aisle don't doubt your intuition your intuition is going to follow to your wish all right so listen to that intuition and what expectations do I have that are impossible to meet is your question this month. The expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Today's sole action, be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul and it is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. So it's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. So whatever you're wishing, whatever you think you're bringing in, and I am going to tell you if this is a relationship coming in and you have dealt with heartbreak in the past we're going to ask you to let go of any expectations that you have um you know i work with a lot of women who come to uh, come for me come to me for help with bringing that down their walls because when we've been hurt so much this is um we put walls up because we don't want to get hurt again 
and we expect other people in relationships to do exactly what we want them to do, make us feel the way that we want them to uh, us to feel. So when you're talking about expectations, especially in a relationship, you need to let go of all of them. Now, you can have standards, but high expectations or unreasonable, impossible to meet expectations, nobody's going to be able to meet them. Now, that's part of having your heart closed off to love because well, if they don't meet them, then that means that you don't get hurt because you can, you can shy them away very quickly in the beginning. So therefore you don't get hurt. That is part of your heart closed. It might feel like you're searching for love, but you're not finding the right partner. You're not opening yourself up to the right people, or you're not opening yourself up to the people that you're attracting because you're scared. So let go of the expectations and be grateful for who you're with. Now again, standards. We're not talking about red flags here. We're talking about good people that, you know, have interest in you that you choose to turn away because either it's not something you're used to or you have these expectations that they're not meeting right away. And sometimes we have to give them time in order to figure it out, okay? Not everything happens in the very beginning of dating and relationships and stuff like that. So just remember, dissolve your unreasonable expectations and be grateful. Be grateful for the person to be in your life. Be grateful for what you have in your life. And um, you'll see how your life changes with that. And you've got the Ten of Cups here. So just be open. Don't shut people down right away. I talk about opening your heart and keeping it open and letting your boundaries protect you. You can bring down your walls, all right? And that's what I, that's what I help my clients do. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do some energy work around this. Okay, uh, we're going to work on this Three of Swords. <laughs> Let's let that go here. Let's let it go. All right. So all I'm going to do is connect a universal energy to your energy and remove any blockages or trapped emotions here around this heartbreak that you've had in the past. Whew, we're just going to let it go today. Okay. And I am going to pull some more cards through it. So stay tuned um, for the rest of the reading. All right. So go ahead and just close your eyes. I'm going to guide you through some breath work and I'll guide you through the whole thing. Just close your eyes, just listen to what I say. Any thoughts that come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. And here we go. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it go. I want you to imagine this heartbreak that has happened in the past. You can feel it for a couple of minutes with energy. It doesn't take long, okay? It doesn't stay long. And go ahead and just take a deep breath in with that. Feel that pain from the past. Let all of that energy come up and we're just gonna release it, okay? Let it all come up. And go ahead and let that breath out. All right, let it all come up here. Feel it. Take a deep breath in. And I want you to blow it out like you are releasing all of the energy around this event. Chocolat kishila. Chocolat Ashkele, chocolat mishiki. We ask you to let this go right here, right now. It's no longer serving you. Go ahead and take another deep breath in. Allowing you to let go of this heartbreak means nothing. It does not define you. Go ahead and let that breath out. All that pain, all that suffering, all the bad memories, just letting that out of your heart here. Just channeling this through. Spirit asks you to lift your head high. There's nothing wrong with you. You deserve the world. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And then go ahead and take another deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that healing. If you got something out of it, go ahead and let me know in the comments, please. I love seeing and hearing everything um, that comes up for you guys. Beautiful card. Ten of Cups came up again. Came up again. Okay, you get to choose to have this. 
open your heart and let it in is what we're feeling. The death card, this transformation from the shadiness, the shadiness of things in the past to giving yourself this opportunity, giving yourself the availability of having this kind of love and abundance come into your life. Okay, whether it be again, job, relationships, whatever it is, but allowing that to come into your life. You looking towards the past and holding on to the past is the only thing holding you back from letting this come into your life. If you've been searching for your soulmate, if you've been searching for somebody, a partner, or even a job, it's about opening that heart and letting this in. Letting go of the past, letting go of the beliefs that you have about yourself, and moving forward and looking forward and celebrating yourself. Okay? I'm so excited, so please come back to me in December and let me know what happens here because I'm excited to see what comes in for you. All right, um, if you haven't heard, I've got my new book, It's new, It's Not You, It's Your Energy. It's out on Amazon for holiday special for only 99 cents. So you can learn all about energy, learn about protecting yourself from negative uh, vampire energy is people that suck your energy, drain you all the time learning how to clear and also learning about the energy centers in your body, how to heal yourself and heal your past, right? That you can find that on Amazon. Talk about the energy of love and also the energy of money and the energy of the spirit world too. So it is all in there if you want to go check that out. All right, 99 cents um, right now for holiday special. Much love to all of you. Get excited for this. I'm excited for you. So you really got to let me know what happens, okay? <laughs> Much love and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.